When we create a seamlessly tiling material, we sometimes find that when we apply it to a model and repeat the tiling, it shows noticeable artifacts. From the repetition, an undesirable pattern emerges. The problem with these artifacts is that oftentimes they are only visible when you actually repeat the map. In this tutorial, we'll see how to detect this and an example of fixing the problem. To view map repetition in Pixplant, you could repeat the map in the 3D preview by changing the UV multiplier. But there's a better, easier way. By using the tiling preview setting. The tiling preview is located below the map editor. If we set it to off, we only see the actual map area. But we can also set it to borders, where we see a bit more around the edges of the map. And this is quite useful to detect tiling problems around the edges. But we also have a new setting, the repeats setting. When selected, it displays multiple copies of the map around it, so that we have a panoramic view, so that we can see how it actually repeats. In this bricks uh, material, we have some repetition problems. For example, this uh, brick is clearly noticeable, repeating around multiple times. And we also have this brick row, because the bricks uh, are so similar, it also forms a, a pattern. But to start, let's offset the map so that we put these problematic areas in the middle. Okay, so this brick is causing the problem and to handle it, we can go to the Paint tool and select Clone. We need to make sure that Apply to is set to all maps so that operations that we do here will uh, apply to all other maps. And to solve this, uh, we can start by selecting, by picking an homogeneous brick that we can use as a clone source. Let's, for example, uh, use this one. I'm pressing the Alt key and I will click on this corner of this brick and I've set the clone source. And we can then come here and clone from the source brick into here. Okay, and it's now not so so noticeable, but we still have problems with the bottom edge of this brick. Well, let's get rid of it in the same manner. Okay, and uh, it's now much less noticeable any pattern. And what about this uh, row of similar bricks? Well, let's pick another one, another source for the clone operation, for instance, this one. And let's paint over, let's clone over one of these bricks in the homogeneous row. Okay, so it's different. I've pressed undo, now redo. And we can also apply this to another one of the bricks in this row. Just a bit. Okay. And I think we got rid of the problem. There are no noticeable patterns anymore and we can repeat this map without problems.